Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to quickly switch between takes in Adobe Premiere Pro. So a lot of times you'll have an edit, and whether it be a narrative piece or like a music video sort of piece like this, you have this problem where maybe you wanna see if a certain clip goes within here better. So for example, on the beat, Maybe I want to see if this little clip right here, if it would work with a different piece a little bit better. And especially in narratives, if you have a bunch of takes, you want to kind of be able to cycle through those and see, you know, with the rest of the flow, does it work, does it not? So today I'm going to be showing you a quick way to be to basically do that. So what we need to first do is grab our clips and put them on top of each other. So you'll notice that this is the clip that we want to change right here. So we want to grab the three clips that might be going in here. We just want to put them on top right here. And we don't want to override any of the audio, so we're going to go into a new layer up here. And we'll do the exact same thing and just line them all up like so. And now what we need to do is just quickly find the clips. Uh, usually you might have clipped this before, so that uh, over here in the preview panel, so that, you know, you don't have to do this in the timeline. But if you don't, that's fine. Maybe we just search for a place that we want, so like a... Uh, Maybe right here is where I want this one to start, trim this one down, and then we'll get the timing by just dragging it there. And then, you know, just make this one go away, find, uh, actually I like this one just from the start, so we're just gonna move that right there. And then now we're gonna do the exact same thing for the final one, which is just this sort of hallway scene right here. And let's go maybe like right there. Okay, so now that we have these three pieces, what we're going to do is I'm going to disattach the audio uh, because I'm not actually using the audio of the clips in this. And you'll notice that I muted all the audio of the other ones as well because I just want the, the sound to be driving this. So now we have this first piece right here. To be able to quickly switch between them, you actually use this thing called enable. So what is enable? Well, enable allows you to basically enable whether a clip works or not. And this, we can drag these all down so they're all, you know, one on top of the, the other. So the kind of slow way to do it is if we wanted to check every single time, we go through here, okay, we turn, you know, this one off and do it again. Turn that one off, do it again. And that just, it's a little bit more of the mouse than I like to use. Um, so this is just like, again, like sort of a speed hack here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to just highlight the bottom three down here. So this one, this one, and this one. So you can hold down the shift key to highlight them all. And then we're going to click shift E. And what is shift E? Shift E is our enable button right here. Uh, if you go up into edit keyboard shortcuts and up here you search for enable, you'll see that it is by default on shift E. Maybe you have an older version and it isn't default, or maybe you want to know a different key. You can change it right here, just click, and then just input any key you want. So now that we have them both, or we have the ability to enable them, now we can quickly toggle them, because all we have to do now is select two of them, and just click it like so, and you'll see that it's going to disable this one and re-enable this one. So now we can quickly look between takes, and we can even just quickly sort of cycle between them like so, giving us the ability to, again, just speed up the workflow just a little bit. We don't have to go over here and toggle these on and off every single time. We can just highlight the two that we want to toggle back and forth, hit Shift D, and we'll toggle them back and forth. And I think that it sort of makes the whole, um, I guess you would call it like the quick process uh, a little bit faster. And this is like actually sort of the key that I like to do here. Is So you see that since I've done this, I've saved these commands into Adobe Premiere Pro. And now, whenever I go backwards, so Control Z, it's going to undo them. And whenever I hit Control Shift Z, so edit, we're going undo up here, Control Z, and redo, Control Shift Z, it's actually toggling the um, the buttons here. And so what I can do is I can sort of jump around these and make it really quick now with just being able to click Control Z and Control Shift Z. So I can play this, and okay, that's what that one looks like. So Control Shift Z. Control Shift Z, Control Shift Z, and now I can kind of figure out the one I like, and you're like, oh, maybe I like the second one, let's try that one again. And you know, I feel like the second one works the best, so now we can make that edit and keep moving on. So that's just sort of a quick way to do it, is to be able to quickly, it's sort of a two-step process here, being able to quickly um, toggle them and then enabling our toggles so that we can use just Control Z and Control Shift Z, our undo and redo button to toggle up and down so that we can sort of get into the feel of the piece better and make a better decision overall. 
that is it on this little quick tip. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want us to be able to do a similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products, sort of focusing on the video realm and Premiere Pro. And until next time, guys, see ya.